so hey guys welcome back to an editing tutorial with Luster. today i'll be showing you guys how to change the sky color in lightroom but first we're going to edit the picture uh, so the first thing i love doing is always cropping so because my work is going on instagram and you can see the picture is not straightened so just to straighten your picture you just come here to transform and press auto and it's going to do that for you so let's start editing i'm going to come here i usually come to the tone curve and apply my tone curve basically and you can see here there's too much blue i don't really like it so i'm just going to desaturate it all the way and I'm going to come up here to the contracts and bring it up and reduce a bit the exposure. It kind of looks okay to what I'm trying to do. But right now we're going to be removing a bit some boats here because I don't like them. So I'm going to come up here and zoom all the way. You can see to remove something, you just come here to either healing or cloning, depending on which one works for you. But me, I love using healing because it's just like, it's easier for me. So... You can see I just like give it a click and that's it, it's gone. And we're going to crop again the picture because I don't want this boat here. So we're just going to crop it till it's out of the way. So right now it kind of looks okay to my liking and what I'm trying to do. So to change the sky color, we're just going to come up here. Uh, you can see I have already customized like the colors for you guys. You can just press pause and put the settings in, on your Lightroom and you can save it as custom. So you can see here, this is my sky and I'm just going to pass the brush all over. Don't worry if it touches the water or the building, we're going to fix that later too. So we're just going to pass it here. And you can see right now it's a bit desaturated and it's not the color I'm trying to bring. So we're going to bring up a bit the saturation to really bring a bit like that fake sunset vibe and epic sunset dramatic vibe. So here I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. It kind of looks okay, but I feel like there's a bit of blue playing in between the sky. So we're going to bring that down a little bit. Uh, yeah, right now it looks kind of white, um, yellowish, whitish, which I'm aiming for. And we're just going to fix it down here to make sure the sky goes all over the place. You don't want to leave some blank areas. Like I said before, don't worry if it touches the building. It actually brings a good vibe. Like it really makes everything dramatic. And you can see down here it really brings like the contracts and the clouds are really popping out which you weren't seeing before like right now you can see this is the before and this is the after it looks kind of good for now we're just going to clear the boat off of this yellow because i don't like it you can leave it depending on your preference but me i'm not really fan of it so when doing this i usually love zooming all the way in uh, two on one so i can see what i'm doing and just pass your brush you can see here the flow it's at one at 100 and the feathers at 100 usually i don't advise you to do that but right now i'm just kind of uh, lazy i just want to like really pass it and hope it goes away fast but usually when you come on these edges you can bring the flow down to like 50 so when you just like brush it it gives really like a nice combination with the environment so you don't get to brush everything away sometimes it's like the smartest idea or the smartest way to do it but like i said before i'm just lazy about it uh, we're going to come here and fix this place so we're going to just zoom out and see what it looks like yeah it pretty looks good from yeah it looks good but there's, there's still like some yellowish in the water here to make sure you don't miss this kind of spot, you just come here to show select text mask overlay and it's going to show you everywhere you pass your brush on. So we're just going to be clearing it off of the water because it's not required there. So and one thing about editing, it's about patience and taking your time and making sure like you actually enjoy what you're doing. Don't rush just to edit the picture. Take your time. Uh, so right now it looks kind of okay and we're just going to bring up a bit the saturation but right now you can see we miss one spot here because it's not combining with the whole picture 
so i'm just going to zoom in again to make sure i touch it well yeah perfect now it looks good i'm just going to pass it again all over the place to make sure we didn't miss any spot yeah right now it looks really like that dramatic sunset vibe i was trying to bring but what i'm going to do now i'm going to duplicate this layer just to make it even more epic but right now you see i kind of overdid it so we're going to bring up a bit the exposure and bring down a bit the saturation so right now it just looks like it looks perfect it looks really like that dramatic sunset you're trying to bring so this was the before and this is the after personally it doesn't have to be your style or anything but if you're planning to change the sky color in your pictures you can do that and also if you don't like the color red you can come down here to the brushes you see here to colors basically any color you choose here uh, hold on i'm just going to delete one of the layers so it doesn't complicate everything okay now we have one layer left so to also change the sky color you can just come here click the selected layer and come down here to colors and play with any of these colors you want you can see when i go on the red it makes the sky red when i go on the green it makes the sky green when i go on the blue you can just so basically everything is about playing and knowing what you're doing depending on what you want so that's about it you can see i'm just playing with the different colors here and it's changing the whole sky and it doesn't just have to be the sky basically you can do it with whatever maybe you want to change the color of a car like anything you're really interested in but i love i love using it for the sky like i said before so we're just going to go back to what i did before because that's what i like uh, so that's about it and i'm just going to come down here and edit the picture normally so i'll boost a bit the clarity i'll reduce a bit the highlight actually i think i'll leave the highlight here um we're just going to sharpen the picture to 70 don't go above 70 because your picture will become really soft when you export it on instagram we're just going to bring down the noise to 40 basically it's removing the noise off of your picture that bring that makes it really clean and sometimes it takes off the eyes so but here i shot at 100 i don't think there's noise there but i just love doing it for the sake of it so that's about it um thank you guys i hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram bye see you next time for the next tutorial